Okay, so I've switched views to do the initial load of software onto onto, uh, onto the flight controller board. Uh, I've got it here. Um, now getting the software, the firmware onto this the first time can be a little bit tricky. Uh, I've tried a number of different ways. Beta Flight Configurator, very flaky. They don't like you using that for us and I just can't get it to work half the time. STM32, Cube Programmer, again, a bit hard to use. So my favorite way is using DFU. It is documented on the wiki. It's a little bit harder because uh, it's a command line tool, but I find this is just by far the most reliable way of doing this. And uh, having tried all these different methods, DFU is your friend. Um, so you can get DFU for, I'm on Windows, so you can get DFU for Windows from the DFU site, which is the SourceForge site that you can see uh, here. Um, and uh, if you, uh, within this page, there's a releases folder and there's a binaries um, distribution. You have to untar that to, to get it at the contents. Uh, but inside there are binaries for all of the different platforms, including Windows 64-bit, which is what I'm going to use. So to upload with DFU, you need something to upload, and I'm just going to upload the, the bootloader. So uh, we don't publish these on the firmware site, I don't think, but they're very easy to get hold of because they're just on the RGPilot GitHub site. So if you go to GitHub, uh, RGPilot, RGPilot, and then Tools, Bootloaders, and then I'm going to install the Matek. Uh, I'm going to install this one, H743 BD Shot. Uh, I could install either of those. These are actually identical. They're just both there for consistency. Um, so I'm going to download that, save it to my local machine. Uh, and uh, once I've done that, so I'm going to put the board into DFU mode. So I'm going to hold down the DFU button, which is just next to the USB connector. You can see there, so I'm going to hold that down plug in the USB power and uh, once I've done that I can use DFU to upload the software so it's uh, very simply this DFU command uh, with these arguments which you can find on the wiki and um, the uh, bootloader to upload which I've just downloaded so I'm going to do that uh, it's very quick, done, 317k. I'm going to repower the board. And um, what you can see is we've got this COM9 port here, which is ID Pilot, which is, uh, if I can't quite see, my cable isn't long enough, but the, the uh, board is flashing. Well, maybe it is. Can you see that? So the, the um, and see that the little blue light is flashing and that means that, that it's in bootloader mode. So there's nothing else on the board, um, but it's in bootloader mode, which is what I want. So once I've got it in bootloader mode, then I can just use uh, the normal mechanism uh, to upload software. So I'm gonna use Mission Planner for that. Let's bring it to the front so you can see it. Uh, so. Just resize this a little bit so that you can actually see. More of it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so there's Mission Planner. Um, so, going to set up, install firmware. I want to do beta firmware, so I'm going to load Copter Beta and um, get a little pop-up which you can't see. It says, what do you want to load? I'm going to go for Matek BD Shot because that's what uh, I want to use the bidirectional D Shot version of the software and click upload. Downloads it. And now 
that's writing the firmware. And boom, it's done. All right, so we're going to repair the board. see on device manager if I just bring that up over here you can just about see on the com ports there uh, whoops yep. let's try that again I think I've got a dodgy connection slightly There we go, okay, so uh, now you can see that now that I've got the full flight control software on it, I've got two ports available, um, uh, one for Mavlink, one for CAN, so I'm going to connect to the Mavlink one, which is COM10. <coughs> there we go, loaded up. So I'm just going to do a couple of quick config things here. Um, that I like to do early on just to um, make sure the board is working. So the first thing to do is check that uh, you can see um, all of the hardware. So go to uh, hardware ID and you can see that uh, um, we've got both, this board has got uh, two IMUs on it. So we've got one in, and we can see both of them, which is great. And then um, I'm going to set the frame type because this is a quad and then I'm also going to do a an Excel calibration just so that it's uh, just to avoid the annoying errors which is pretty easy to do while the, while you've got the bare board out so um, calibrate Excel it's vehicle level do that place it on this left can't quite see there we go so um, the, you need to use the arrow on the board to decide which is left and right let me on its right place nose down place the vehicle up Place it on his back. Yeah. Done. Okay. So I was being a little bit careful. I find these USB C connectors not quite as secure as the micro USB. Um, okay. Disconnect. Repair. Reconnect. Whoops. And there we go. So we have uh, IMUs, we have IDCopter, and uh, the Horizon as well. All right, so um, uh, that's the sort of basic setup of ID Pilot. Uh, I do that early on just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the board um, uh, and to make sure that when I'm uh, wiring stuff up that, that things aren't, uh, aren't broken. Um, so what I'm going to do next is uh, check out the ESCs and, uh, and make sure pass-through works. So I'll, I'll do that in the next video. Thank you.